Hello guys. In this video, let's look at how to build a simple but responsive website under a short span of time, say maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So the approach which you are taking today is a simple one and it can be followed by anyone who has um, a little bit experience of HTML, CSS or even nothing. So this is a simple approach which can be actually um, approached by anyone. So we'll be using something called as Tailwind CSS and Tailwind Blocks as well as Tailwind UI in this um, website making process. So what you have to do is initially uh, you can open your browser and search for something called as Tail uh, Tailwind CSS. So once you search for that, the first result that is TailwindCSS.com will take you to a page which will be showing something like this. And this is the thing. Uh, which we'll be working on. So let's look at what this is. This is a utility for CSS framework for rapidly building custom designs. So there's a lot of stuff associated with this. So let's um, look at few of the features of this. So this is uh, kind of something like this. All of the code will be appearing like this as small snippets, which we can add to our uh, code base so that we can implement that kind of a widget or a um, component in our code base. So um, if you want to add a division like this, then we can add this particular code. If you want, if you want to add a button, then we can add this uh, this particular code for getting this button. And uh, everything is similar like this. So let's look at how to get started with this. So once you click on get started over here, there's a few methods using which you can install Tailwind CSS. Either you can use npm or yarn to install this, but um, this will require a little bit of experience with um, using uh, command line tools and all but uh, it's actually super simple we have another option that is directly to uh, what do we say link to that particular style sheet which is hosted by tailwind so we can use this particular line of code what you have to do is just select that so before that what you have to do is I uh, believe that you're using an editor offline editor for offline editor or an id for your web development needs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use vs code for this tutorial so first of all i'm going to open vs code in a folder which i want to store these files so i'm going to open uh, vs code and once vs code is open what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a file called as index.html obviously index.html is the file where we will be writing the main code right so inside that what i'm going to do is i'm going to initiate the main um, html template code and inside this i'm going to uh, rename the title of our page to something called as tailwind demo so because that's what we are doing right and inside body okay before that what i'm going to do is before the head section i'm going to import that particular uh, line of code that is this style sheet linking so that our code base or our file can actually access that particular style sheet from the web itself uh, the next thing which we are going to do is we are going to search for something called as tail blocks so tail blocks is a platform this is the uh, website uh, this one the first one dot github.io so oh, i'm going to open that so this is the platform where we'll be having a lot of um, components and similar stuff so once uh, you select the um, code the template which you want to add in your code base you can just click on view code over here and then just copy that code to your um, clipboard and then paste it on your uh, editor so what i'm going to do is let's start with a navigation bar so once you go uh, down over here you'll be finding a navigation bar it will be over here yeah header so i'm going to go with which one should i go with okay i'm going to select this one this header i like this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that header file and then i'm going to click on view code over here and then uh, copy to clipboard I, actually i can change the colors to to whichever one i want okay um, for this particular navbar over here so i'm just sticking with the default one and uh, after copying that to the clipboard what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here and paste that particular thing over here and for simplicity i'm going to um, type in here that is this is the navbar or header header code for our file oh 
we are building a website right so website so i'm going to save that and i'm going to run this index.html file so you had different methods to run this index.html file so what i did was i went to this application section over here plugin section i installed uh, a plugin called as live server so live server live server this is an amazing tool so i'm actually using that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, right click on this index.html file over here and click on open with live server and it will be opening it in my browser as you can see it is locally hosted 127.0.0.1 and you can see this is the navbar which we built right now we just added a piece of code over here and it built us this amazing toolbar and when we actually minimize this it's actually uh, responsive as you can see over here okay so uh, also you can actually change the colors so changing the colors is a little bit tricky in this thing so what you have to do is um, you can search for color as you can see over here it's usually it's using things like for the color over here it's using text gray 900 uh, over here text gray 900 mb and a lot of things like that right and text to gray 700 body font and things so what you have to do is come back to this particular site i am going to search for color and you can select the background color over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select um which color do i want i'm going to select um maybe let's okay i want to change this button color so i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a red theme and i'm going to select bg red 600 and then coming back to here where's our button button this is our button so i'm going to change this bg gray 200 because that's the corresponding uh, gray color in the background okay so i'm going to select that bg gray so i'm going to change that to bg red 600 and then i'm just saving that coming back to the website you can see the color change so this is how you can change the color in this website okay as well as that uh, you can actually uh, provide a um, destination link also over here wherever so i'm not going into detail about that i hope you know that how to add a link over there okay or else um for a simplicity what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this button um using an a element so that um wait a minute um, yeah so that what we can do is i'm we can add a link so i'm doing this for the simplicity save so let's give a sample website name over here https google.com okay hope that is correct yeah and add that particular closing tag to the end of this button tag and just save that and coming back to the website clicking on the button will take us to google.com so that's uh, that's the most simplest way how we can add a url to a button so i'm just going to remove that over here because right now we don't want that so i'm just removing that and let's continue building so after adding this navigation bar what do we want so coming back to the tail blocks we have a lot of things over here right so we can actually give in a lot of stuffs right so in the hero section usually hero is a section under uh, now bar where we provide main details so th things like that for example as you can see over here there's an image over here and what do we say um, a short write-up so different versions of that which can be provided in the hero section so the one which i like is um obviously that one but right now i'm going with can you go with mm, yeah let's go with the hero section itself uh, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute coming to the hero yeah I mean, let's go with this one itself oh maybe that's one. Oh, this one yeah let's go with this one itself i'm going to copy that i'm going to add a hero section so it's a, always a better idea to add comments so that um, you can actually understand what code is that for easily or whenever someone else is looking into your code base they can actually easily understand that which uh, thing is uh, actually you're referring to okay adding hero section for the website so comments can be anything uh, as simple as uh, what can we say a simple sentence which can be understood by anyone so don't make it complex because uh, the sole purpose of the comment section is itself uh, is to make others or make yourself understand what that particular code does later on so make sure it's simple 
so i'm adding that uh, hero section over here and just uh, saving that and loading this particular page as you can see over here our website is loaded so you can actually uh, give a link to this particular website over here uh, or link to a particular image file over um where do we say um yeah here is rough that is a imc src part so that you can actually um what can we say add a particular image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to website called dsmbc.github.io so this is the dsc platform at our college so i'm going to copy the image address of that particular image i'm going to paste that over here and once we uh, load our website that is as you can see over here our website is showing that particular image so make sure uh, as you can see over here this is not the dsc website this was the website we copied this particular image we can copy any image which we want so right now i'm going with that one and i pasted that link over here so that uh it would be av made available on our website okay so the next thing which we can add after our hero section is maybe we can go with something called as a something to showcase something so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this particular thing um to show some kind of data so if our say say community website then you can obviously show the number of members impacted uh events hosted the um organizers or the attendees you can go with anything like that so i'm going to uh copy that particular code to the clipboard and i'm going to paste it after wait a minute yeah wait a minute yeah i'm going to copy wait a minute. okay adding the data so usually this stuff is counting part so i'm just going with adding the data part and below that you can add that particular code over here just copy just save that then you, as you can see over here we have that particular thing too over here okay so as you can see right now um this thing is actually responsive as you can see over here i'm just going to inspect it uh going to this mobile view yeah it was actually in mobile view as you can see over here this is actually responsive so we can work on this later on so this is a response super responsive and as you can see it's changing depending on the uh width of your device okay so i'm just going to cancel that and let's keep working on that and finally we can go with maybe a team section um i'm going to just copy that and yeah over here and the team section and we need that you can go save that and as you can see over here we have our team section ready right now as you can see over here even that is responsive like others and finally we can go with maybe something like uh testimonial section maybe that's better to add reliability right uh adding the testimonial section and under that you can paste that save the file reload the website you can see uh even that is over there okay uh, may, uh, one thing that you can notice over here is even uh, you can actually add anything that you want okay uh within this particular um what do we say mm, along with this code base may, for example if you want to add a paragraph over there uh, you can actually obviously do that i'm just going to type in adding a paragraph so uh, the thing is you you have to create your own css so you can link to that maybe if i'm going to um copy this particular before that i'll do something i'll save this and show it to you as you can see there's a paragraph over here the text which we wrote earlier let's just remove that because it's only depending on the tail block so right now and finally we can add one pricing section over here maybe this thing looks cool so we can just copy that to clipboard okay sorry for that and pricing section so one thing that you can notice you can actually edit a lot of stuff you can edit the default content over here add the uh, uh, change the color to different version you can actually do a lot of things okay um, using this so one thing that you had to notice you had to change that color from uh, color section from that particular this particular palette okay that's the only uh, kind of difficult thing that you have to face in this particular thing and similarly you can change a lot of things over here as you can see um, there's a lot of things container the um, various details regarding this container box sizing and all if you select the container you can see whereas uh, there's a lot of sizing which is brought out over here smmd lg xl you can actually change that change that particular thing um, in that particular what do we say code basis you are using 
okay so for the time being uh we can go with uh, maybe one more thing that is a footer section uh, which we saw before that header yeah footer section so for the footer section i'm going with something as simple as this one uh, because we just need this one right so i'm going to copy that uh, and adding yeah adding the adding the footer section what am i typing okay now i'm finally adding that saving that loading this and finally oh website is ready so uh, website in the sense we have our template ready we can edit this as it is as simple as that and you know editing this doesn't take much time so as you can see we even change the color we i showed you how to change the color how to add an image how to add a link to a button then we looked at various cases right uh, so this is how you can make a simple website so once you go to the mobile view you can see how um, responsive this is okay you don't have to worry about the responsiveness of this website too so that's it regarding this particular tailwind so one more thing which i want to show you is the tailwind uh, ui thing which is something similar itself so you can just go with the explore preview section because it's kind of a paid one you can browse a free sample commands over here and you can actually copy and paste the widgets which is available for free too okay so as you can see this is an amazing toolbar section it requires javascript that's the reason why uh, it's kind of a little bit much more interesting uh, okay so as you can just uh, go through the code over here where, 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 where is it where is it uh, it's kind of a relatively long one because uh, it's kind of a complex now but right so it has a lot of listings listings and inside listing and there's a lot of things like that so this is a long code if you want you can add that and if you want you can just click on see more headers to view more headers so there's actually a lot of things which you can actually add on to your website um, as easily just go to the code section just copy that and just paste it on your file so for the time being we are not um, doing that because we did our purpose we built a website under 10-15 uh, minutes literally 10-15 minutes and you just have to uh, edit this you can add a different logo over here you can add a different image you can add a different title over here you can add different data over here you can change the color of this uh, components you can change color of this text you can change the images over here again images text uh, you can add different color or images so anything that you want you can add over here and finally you can add links to this footer section too so that uh, this will be a proper website which can be used for any purpose so this is simple right just selecting the component which we need editing that adding that so this is much more simpler than um what do we say um taking in a whole new template code for a website and then editing from scratch it's as simple as adding each component of our choice and then we can actually um edit it or not so that's it for this video let's check out much more cool stuff in later ones so thank you for watching till now if you like this video do share this video subscribe to the channel and like this video so yeah until next uh, it's a bye